Double Watch Stronghold! It is I! Unseed Strike. Welcome back. Hope you're all ready. I think this is what our third, maybe fourth video in this set. Here we go. I'm gonna load right in. One, two, three, four, bing, bang, boom. Here we go. Oh, man, it feels so good to be back. You guys have no idea. Anyway, we're gonna continue this little thing we got going on here. Uh, every day this month or this 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 session until Christmas I want a video out all right the Emperor's got a lot of backlog here a lot of battles need to be shown and not a lot of time to do it I don't know what we're gonna call it yet I want to see some good names for this in the comment we had our, our was it June or July our big month of and we need something coming up for this little month going on anyway whoa, whoa. look at this nice colored ultramarine color oh my why this could be Oh, what was that Emperor's Spears book that Aaron Dembski wrote? Was that it? They were the Emperor's Spears. They had this gorgeous blue on their armor, or no? What, what were they called? Anyway, with the Celestial Lions? I can't anyway. I'm, I'm now, now that I'm talking about it, that was such a good book. They were on the other side of the rift. I forget what that rift was called. And, and they were kind of stuck and stranded, cut off from the Imperium. Uh, what was it called? What was that rift called? That was such a good book. God, Aaron Dembski, just, he writes some just straight bangers. Um, and I usually don't like reading like newer Games Workshop books but, and like the newer lore. It's kind of like uh, new lore, you know, but it was a good book. Anyway, we've been rambling for a while now. Hold on. We've got guard across the way. Oh, it's like an ugly nurgly kind of color. Maybe maybe the the Emperor's Spears here are fighting like a nurgle PDF infestation. Anyway, guard up. I, I see Commander Big Balls going on. Sorry, I had to get a drink. A little parched here. And we see Commander Deflated Balls. We're going to continue this saga until we see him beat a Chaos Lord. He will be deflated. And please, don't let me forget that. Somebody re remind me in the comments if you hear me calling a Force Commander not deflated because uh, he lost. And, uh, I don't agree with this. I don't think losing the Scout is worth it. Maybe in the I'm wrong, but I feel like that could go so much worse. You could lose the squad or... You know, maybe they get wiped, and now you're down a, a, a unit on the field. That's so important. I mean, I guess your enemies denied the resources. But anyway, we got a game on our hands. Fought the Morga. But didn't say it already. Come on, you don't think I was going to be gone for a whole month and we were going to miss seeing this map on the first set of casts? Anyway, full guard command squad out. We got the priests. We got the psyker. We got the, the, the uh, commander, commander big old balls. And we've got a space marine squad, five-man team. Now, this is what you want to do. You want to keep them in melee. Here comes Commander Deflation. He's getting revenge for his other comrades. And this is where you want to be really careful. The Imperial Guard Command Squad makes you feel like you're on top of the world. And then you lose one model and the squad is just useless. You have to be really careful. Especially with that poor Servitor. I guess this was worth it. I mean, he's not going to lose a priest, is he? Oh, please don't tell me you're going to lose this priest. This would be so bad for the guard. This would be terrible. Oh, he's playing so risky. He has no vision. He has no clue what's over here. This could have been an upgraded LP, and he could have walked. Oh, no, he's staying? Oh, my God. What's going on over here? Oh, no, another. And look at this. This is what I was talking about. Again, I feel like this is not worth it. We see this quite a few times in these games where you'll try and waste a whole squad to cap or decap a coin. I mean, look at that. They lost, what, four or five guard models? Uh, an upgraded Space Marine squad like this is no joke in ranged combat. You don't want to let this happen. And oh, oh no! He turned them around! Oh god, it hurts to look! No, my bread, poor guardmen! Run! Oh my, another Space Marine squad coming out of nowhere. These guards are fleeing for their life. They're not hanging out at the beach. Does he make it out of this with one month? Oh man, drops a guard squad. Commander Deflation also picking off guards model. Our, our guard player is a little sloppy on the control. Meanwhile, scouts capping up all the crit locations on the map. Imperial uh, Space Marines are moving out here. One Space Marine squad on one side of the beach. One Marine squad going with the Force Commander. Commissar finds a new group of buddies. He's like, don't ask what happened to my last squad, but he's in such a bad position right now. And is he going to lose the Commissar too? It looks like the Force Commander was targeting him. But one of his, his loyal guardsmen is, is jumping in front of his pointy hat. And, oh, man, he just got out of there. Where is the Imperial Guard Command Squad? Here they are. Guard up the hill, triple triple gens. Maybe going to try and go for an early tier two. 
Space Marines, on the other hand, just getting their generators now. Let's do a quick eco check for 80-30. Uh, Space Marines, 86-10. So he's got a ways to go on his power. Guard is now attacking up tier 2. But this is a scary Space Marine army on your front door. Not something you want to just lightly tech up to tier 2 with. Um, I don't know. If our Space Marine player pushes this, he's, he's not going to really be able to defend. He could walk right over this. He could take an LP. He could walk through both of these LPs and take his gens out. Commander Deflation popping his gun, getting a couple models here. Oh, what is our Space Room player doing? He's throwing the advantage. Maybe he doesn't know. And this is where a nice skull probe right through the front door, right around the back, really gets in so much valuable int intelligence. If he popped the skull probe up here, he would see there's nothing. You know, normally you want to keep an eye out for the guard. Is he fast teching? If you see a, a, a Tacticia control, an armory, that means they're not fast teching. They're kind of getting some upgrades. And he's got enough guardsmen, I, I could say. Getting an upgrade or two here would be great. Maybe one or two grenade launchers. Push this off your front door and then go tier two. He's gambling quite a bit here. Meanwhile, our Space Marine player just now starting tier two. Getting another gen. He's going to have four gens. So he's going to have a later tier two, but he's going to have more economy. He only has one. He has two upgraded LPs. I normally say the rule is three. But with all these critical locations he's got, his economy's doing fine. Guard player is still kind of stuck here. This whoa, 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 where are you going? No, 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 no. The Space Marine scouts, where are they going? It looks like now our Space Marine player wants to go. But look, the guard just hit tier two. And now with that, his commissars start executing. And this squad of, of guardsmen is now more formidable. They can take this trade. The Space Marine player is going to need the health upgrade if he wants to stand. The Space Marine squad was zapped with this force commander. His deflation scared the Imperial Guard command squad and they broke morale as well. Force commander is now starting to take some damage. Marines are starting to drop. Guard can trade a little better. Priest upgrade just finished for the Imperial Guard. Space Marines getting their armory. I believe they're in tier 2 now, right? Almost there. So his armory's done. Is there a fight still happening? There is. And again, while it's not the most effective trade, Guard can do it with these executes. Oh, this Psyker's taking all this bolter fire. Is he going to live? He does live. Execute again. Downside to execute, you are losing a model every execute. Well, once or twice is not a big deal. Uh, you execute three times in a row, that's three less models. That's 60 rec to regen. He's getting bionics for health increase. He's getting his grenades. He's solidly in tier two now. What's the guard player doing with this tier two? Getting vehicles. Space room player preserved his marines. He can very easily get missile launchers. Um, if our guard player gets a Chimera, he's going to do very careful. Marines on the other hand, there's a Chaplain coming as well. 116-40 Eco, 98-40 on the guard. I see another Clash coming. Look at this. Our Space Room player doesn't want to give it up. Their shoulder pads are starting to glow. The health increase came in. Guard execute. They drop another model. 20 more wreck. He does have grenades. Sargants are coming in. I don't think I saw Plasma Guns queued yet. He's going to have three guns here with the Chaplain, four Plasma Guns. And look at how much damage these Space Marines really can put out. And this is an uncontested fight for the guard. There is a priest in here. He can very easily pop in vulnerability and kind of step into this. What vehicle's coming to help him out? Nothing yet. Bionics level 2 done. Space Marine hard tech. Assault Marines? Wow, I thought maybe he was going for a third Space Marine squad. Uh, is he going to go melt bombs? Why? Why the Assault Marines? I only see... Two guard squads here. He's immediately going for a Sargant on his assault marines. When it is Interesting choice. A Sentinel! The Four Sentinels, baby! Let's go! Game. Love to see some Sentinels. What's he doing back here? So he's going for Sentinel, so no Chimera. So, listen, I this is how I love to play guard. Go for the Sentinel every time. Take a fight in the middle. Push your Sentinel around the flanks here. You want to clean up on the sides. Get some power gens. Get an LP while the battle's going on. And really kind of recoup. Even on this map, get them to decap these LPs. Chimera. No Chimera here is forcing... Uh, I'm sorry. No, that's not what I was going to say. With no Chimera, there's no positioning mistakes that can be made. Uh, you got to be right where you want to be. Here comes these submarines. They're flying in. And again, the Chimera here, you load in. You drive away safely. No Chimera. You got to go through this gauntlet. So you need to be very careful on your positioning. Make sure everything is perfect. And we've seen our guard player drop his positioning a couple times. And this guard squad gets left here. They get yelled at by the Commissar. He needs to pop invincibility. I don't think he has yet. I think he's not tier 3. And this is really bad. Look at this. He's going to lose this squad. Space Marines need to plant their feet. They're not planting their feet. Another grenade comes in. Sentinel could also be clipped here. There's just five missiles. 
The Salt Marines in the back, holding back the whole army. Sentinel somehow makes it out. Priest again is down. Jimmy here hit with a shrapnel shard from that missile launcher. And let's see here. Space Marines going for a land speeder right after the Rhino. There's that skull pool we wanted to see a few minutes ago. And what's our Space Marine player go for? He's got almost all the tools he needs. He could tech up safely to tier 3, in my opinion. Chaplin's just running around right now. He's like, hey, how's it going, everybody? He's using using nice language. He's telling everybody how good they look and they're sick. Um ceramic what, right what is it called the, the power armor he's like damn that mark 10 armor looks great rhino gets zapped but the command squad is right in front of a gun line commander big balls goes down down goes the psyker that's a big power investment sentinel flees for its life it did not get the decap i think it's smart he ran it away and a heavy weapons team is the response from the guard player i think this is the right call the space marine army's coming but the guard player needs to run why are you here sir Sir, oh, oh man, so I'm saying this positioning is huge. He needs to get all squads into this mech depot. Grenade hits, and this squad is now stunned. He does get them into the building. Let's switch to the guard player. I want to see who's in what. He's got two units in this this mech depot. He needs to get the third in here to get the heavy bolter going. And this squad is now not really in much danger. The thing is, it looks like they're focused on the Rhino, which is awful. You can't target this. He pulled the squad out of that LP. He needs to get a squad in here. Uh, with the Chaplain whispering kind words into everybody's ears, they're not taking a lot of damage. The guard player drops a missile strike, but the Rhino gets right in. So he just tipped off to the space room player that he is tier 3. Which can be a bad thing. Gets another heavy weapons team, and he goes for the auto cannon. I like the position of this heavy weapons team a lot more. Priest is out. I see the Kasserkin banner up. What's the space room player doing over here? Landspeeder Tempest is what he switches into. Getting his heavy weapon increase, so he wants to keep two squads, and he wants four heavy weapons. And again, as a guard player, this is still an okay position. You get your Kasserkin out, get your priests ready, get maybe a second priest to do some juggling. Auto Cannon is now opening up, and because that Sentinel's not here, where is that Sentinel? Here we go, Auto Cannon, firing in. Oh man, Assault Marines turn right around. He needs to preserve this. Kasserkin come out in the nick of time. Grenade comes in. Assault Marines defeated. Auto cannon firing. Full blast here. They're not actually shooting. Never mind. And this is what I'm saying. Kasserkin come out and really save the day. The Sargan pops, holds your, holds your ground. And oh, this is not looking good for that heavy weapon team. They were doing so good. There's the Sentinel. This is what we need. He needs to take one more Landspeeder Tempest out. That priest is in the air. Excuse me, sir. The Emperor demands you on the ground. This priest is not engaging. And here we go. This Imperial Guard Command Center is a, a, just an asset, this bunker fortification. He was actually baiting the Space Marine player. Popped invincibility at the last second. Now he needs to run away. Kasekin, I don't think they popped invincibility yet. They already threw their grenade, though. And now the, all the Space Marine guns are turning on them. They just run. Just back up. Just back right on up. There's no need to keep engaging. He lost another Kasekin. Just retreat. Just pull back, it's okay. And what's he getting out of here? Commander Big Balls again? Oh no, another heavy weapon team! No, 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 no! Okay, all right, if he sets them up right here, gets a last cannon, and he takes out this Rhino and both these land speeders, he's still in good shape. I've seen Kasserkin turn the tide of many a battle with just the right positioning. I'd love to see them with some armory upgrades, but that's okay, they still do pretty well if you could do the priest juggling with the invincibility. His land speeder's coming, oh no. Oh, man. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Landspeeder gets defeated. Is that it? I see Ogrins. Is he actually getting Ogrins? No, he's getting a guard squad. I was going to say, maybe he misclicked the Ogrins. What a mad lad. Space Marine player slowly sieging down this guard player. He's doing the right thing. Take out the economy if you can't break the main HQ. Playing it slow and steady. Scouts still going around, decapping everything. Man, if that Sentinel didn't die, I feel like the guard player would be in such a better spot. And here we go. He's getting another heavy weapon. See, this one is so far forward. No, my friend. Pull back. It's an auto cannon. I, oh, man. A last cannon up on the hill would be beautiful. The last cannon has such incredible range. Casting can again pop him into the grenade goes off. Breaks the chaplain squad. But he's got to run them away. He doesn't have enough. There's so much smoke. Oh, my God. One of those pilots is vaping up there. Not good. Command squad pops into the Valkyrie run, but again, the, this is the same problem we have before. The Rhino's still here. Oh, one of the squads didn't make it. There we go. Coming down now. It looks like well, the Rhino ditched the Chaplain squad. 
another heavy weapons team is out. There's a priest hanging out of there. This heavy weapons team is facing the wrong way. Oh, it must be so frustrating for this guard player right now. He's doing the right thing, rebuilding his eco, getting his ogrens up. Ogrens would be great to tank and get in here and fight while the caster could do DPS in the back line. What's the space room player doing on the back of all this? Not much. I mean, he got everything he needed. He's going tier three. There's a servitor going to get a sacred artifact. Wants to get some upgrades for his force commander. Maybe a librarian. And these land speeders here. Ogrens out. This could be the fight that he needs. So Ogrens pop invincibility immediately. Generally, you want to save this till you're about to start losing models. Ogrens here in the fight. The Rhino goes down. This could get dicey. The uh, Machine Cold Curse and the Land Speed attempt is taking a lot of damage. Down it goes. Ogren's morale broken. I believe the Chaplain yelled mean things at them. A Priest Juggle came in. So now these Ogrens have double invincibility. Castigan is still coming. A heavy weapon team in the back trying to shoot. This could be the breakout the guard player needs. This is great. Guard player still in this. He needs to reclaim his front LPs, and it looks like he's doing just that on the map. Space Marine's caught in this corner here. Where's the chaplain? I don't see him. Did he die? Force Commander here holding out. I'm going to switch views real quick. Another heavy weapons team being ambushed, but the morale's broken. I want to switch. I want to see the chaplain still here. Chaplain is here. Impressive. And look at this. The Space Marines got pushed back. This is great. Heavy weapons team held. He's rebuilding his mech team. Oh, no. There's a Dreadnought here. This is not good. I didn't even see this thing. Assault Marine's proven to be a real pain in the butt. If he can get this mech depot up, maybe get a heavy weapons team. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Where? No, no. Where are you going? Oh, man. He's so close. There's a Dreadnought right here. It's like a Western movie. Ooh. Wah, wah, wah. This is a spaghetti western face off. Curse of the Machine Spirit CCs the Dreadnought. But look, there's a Space Marine army down the cliff with a brand new Rhino. And I see Assault Terminators here. There's a Predator tank coming. This is not looking good. And an Orbital Bombardment right in the face of all these guard. And he GG. I didn't even see a GG. He just, he just he exited. Maybe it was the Orbital Bombardment. Maybe it was the Dreadnought, you know, he, he won that Spaghetti Western shoot-off. Maybe it was the Assault Terminators coming in that really sealed the deal for him. Oh, man. Our guard player, he had a really strong chance there about two, three minutes ago. But the positioning of those heavy weapon teams, like two in this in this forward, forward spot. You know, put a weapons team back here behind the depot, the LP, and the power generator. Uh, put a heavy weapons team back here in the corner. You, they're not tanky units. You don't want to put them this far forward or all the way down here. There's unless you have guard squads right here. I wish I could like had a marker and I could draw. There's 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 nothing to defend here. The Cassican are behind you. Oh man, hate seeing guard lose. That's my bias. But uh, that was a close game. There was a couple really bad positioning mistakes by the guard player. But otherwise, I think he made a lot of right calls in units and even going for those heavy weapons. Um, and our space room player played it very safe. He did the right thing. He went in, picked a couple LPs, yes, picked a couple LPs, fought here. He stayed here a little longer than he should have, and that Rhino was super low. He could have juggled the Rhino out with a newer one a little bit sooner. Um, his tech was slowed down a little bit by all the upgrades he got, but they helped. Those both Space Marine squads did their job. They set up down at the foot of the hill and fired in. And uh, that's that's my dream as a Space Marine player. I love that. The, this romantic idea of double Space Marine squads, you know, with bolters just firing onto the enemy. Anyway, it's been I. Unseen strike. Let's check the score screen. Ooh, 920 to 305. I feel like this is a little bit closer than the score is really being made out. I don't judge this guard player as harshly. I think this was a pretty good game. Again, a couple positioning mistakes. We've all made them before. You know, it's it's not like everybody plays a perfect game. Um, but that's how that's how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Check out the resources. Relatively close. 1,200 behind by the guard player. He was down quite a few LPs for a while. And the space re player had quite... If not all the LPs, I want to say, uh, the critical locations for a very long time. So our space room player was not making it easy. Our technology. Yeah, he had quite a few upgrades, our space room player. Anyway, it's been I, Unseed Strike, and I will see you guys in the next one.